Okay, we're back. We're going to finish up this jar. I wanted to show you, um, we went ahead and emptied everything out and got it divided up. And we found a pair of matching earrings. These are brass. I heard a ding. Mm. See, they're brass on that side, enameled on this side. Very pretty earrings. I just put that there so it didn't fall down. That's yeah, all. I know. I could have done that for you. Yeah, you could have. I'm sorry. Here, finish <laughs> it up. Thank you, my job. Thank you. Right. Found this cute little pendant with a J, and it's an enhancer, not just a pendant. It does come undone here. There you go. There's the enhancer. So you can put it over beads or whatever you want to. I think it's very cute. You can either do that side or do this side. It's cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sure is. This was the best find of all. I had found one of these in one jar and they were diamonds. Well, I found the matching one in this jar. That's why I like to buy all the jars I see <laughs> when I see them. That's her excuse and she's sticking to it. That's right. So those are beautiful. There's a lot of diamond in that too. Very great. Yeah, I'm gonna give it back to you. <laughs> I need you to label my three drawers over there. Here's a gigantic bead. I just wanted to show you how pretty that was. We have a shell chip green stretchy bracelet. Green. <laughs> green. And we have a acrylic one with beautiful stones. Not stones, but colors. Okay, thank you, honey. He's going to turn the TV off. That's beautiful blues and greens and black and white and pink. Just beautiful. Here's a... Ooh, that's so much better. Sorry. That's okay, honey. Here's a cute little necklace. It's got a little arrow for the toggle. Pink beads. The little um, rhinestone beads here in pink. Double stranded. Puffed heart. And a little key here. And this is a Betsy Johnson. Yay. Betsy Johnson. Where does that go? Third drawer. Okay. We have this little beaded ring here. It's coming apart. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. And we have a body pierce thing. Um, I need it in a little bag. A little bag. Oh, okay. oh, you got a little bag. Go. A little bag. Sorry about that, honey. Where do I stick it? You're going to give it to me, okay. and I'm going to put it in Curiosity. Okay. This is a sterling silver little pendant here. It's marked on the back. Oh, no, on the bell. Well, I saw the mark somewhere. And where did I see it? Or maybe I just thought I saw it. Let me get my loop. See it. Let's see if it's magnetic. Whoops. Nope. I need to test it. Put my testing. Oh, just, there it is. Mm -hmm. And there's this little um, martini pin here that does something. It's got a battery part in it. I didn't take it apart. 
I don't know whether we should save it or not, or just put it in the craft lot. Here's some little turquoise lever back earrings. They're cold. I don't know if those are real turquoise or if there's something else. Hmm. If it lights up. I think it lights up. Yeah, I'm sure it does, honey. But I, I just get rid it takes two batteries and it's just okay. trash. Trash it. Here's a little slider bead or a little stretchy bracelet. Anyway, it's a bead. It's a pretty black bead. Black enamel. We have a mother pearl cuff link. I don't see any markings on it. Where do you want that to go? In that bag. Oh, with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey. Let's see. Here is President's Award. Honda, that's Honda dealership award. Cool. Yep, you done good. Yeah, do a bigger bag because I'll do several of these. Here's the uh, Reef Relief Project Living Coral. Let's see if you see any more tack pins. I don't. Okay. Not that big a bag. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. Oh, let me get this thing yeah. out of the way. This is a little velvet, and it's in great shape. Choker. Um, choker. And it's a Claire's. And nothing is, is discolored on it. And I think it would be pretty with something like this put on it. This little cameo here, which is a nice cameo. There's the back. And I don't, I guess it's a pendant, but that, that needs to be closed up. This needs to come up here, right back there, this piece. But I even think it's pretty on that, don't you? Mm-hmm, I do. So anyway, we're going to keep that. Okay. And then we're going to keep this little cameo piece. It's Where a pendant. Necklace. Oh, okay. Put that in the pendant. Okay. No rhyme or reason on what I'm picking here. I can tell. Oh. I'm trying to guess what size bag to use. And you keep oh, I'm sorry. Me. It's okay. <laughs> Living with me is not easy. But it's fun. Here we go. This is a... I don't know what kind of bead. It kind of feels like clay pieces. It's got a tag. It's a nice bracelet. A necklace. Vivo. Vivo beads. Okay. Very pretty beads. Have a nice feel to them. Lobster claw clasp. Extender with a matching bead. It's a nice little necklace. We have a little tiger's eye necklace. And they're fasted. And they are beautiful. It's a barrel clasp. A brass one. These are just lovely. We have this beautiful little old bracelet, cameo. Just very ornate, these pretty glass stones in there. I, I haven't tested them, but they are cold. It's just missing its little um, jump ring here for you to attach it to with this a spring ring. Very pretty bracelet. Very vintage. Put that in the second drawer. 
for me to fix. Here's a little stretchy bracelet with hearts. And is that it looks like Bali, Bali, little heart, another heart. Where'd that go to? Where I wanted it to. You don't want a bag? Mm -mm. Okay. Here is a stone. All of these are stone, very cold. I don't know if this is jade or aventurine. I don't know what stone this is. Unless it's jasper. It's very solid. It is marked. Ralph Lauren. RLL. First time I've seen one of those. And it's also marked on the clasp here. So yeah, that's nice. It's a nice piece. Using, oh, I think I showed this, didn't I? Yeah, I showed this before. Did you? Yeah, this wire, I sure did. Because it was holding its shape and everything. It just didn't get. Okay. These are shoe clips. Matching set. Jewelry for your shoes. And what? In the belt drawer? Um, bucket, I mean? No, not in the belt. I don't want it with the chains and stuff. I put it over here in curiosity. Okay. Here's a lovely wooden bracelet. I love this with the pine cone and leaves. Pine needles. In the back it says... In every walk, with nature, with nature, one reclaim, one receives far more, far more than he seeks. In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. That's very cool. Very cool bracelet. Here's a little child's bracelet with flowers. Very cute. Put that in the kitty. Yeah. Here's another bracelet with, um, I'm not sure. I see the angel here, the guardian angel of the children. It's a religious bracelet. Another angel. Very pretty. It's a Shambhala bracelet. Here's a little buckle bracelet that says cool. Too cool for school. There's no school. That's right. Too, too cool for school. There we go. Very cute. This is a shoe clip. It's missing a rhinestone. Here's the back. I'll keep that with my stuff. Okay. Here's some other small bracelets with beads. You have the pink, the green, the orange, and the blue. Very cute. Here's a little bracelet with tassels and stones. It looks like malachites. Malachite beads. I don't know if they're real. I don't think they're real. They're not cold. But it has that look. Here's one with a star. Ooh. Right here. I pulled that out, honey. Mm. I thought we found another one. This one needs cleaning. It's very antique. It's 
leave it out for me to clean. Okay. Teacher, Merry Christmas. It's a little teacher ornament. Put that in curiosity. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here is not sure what he's doing. Saint Christopher protect us. Mm -hmm. Necklace. He's got a lobster claw clasp. A little Rolo chain. The one side, and this is the other. And here's another one. It's a different saint, though. Yeah, I know. Saint, I can't read it. Matthew or Michael? Mm -mm. Here, I, can read. I read it before. One side is on the guardian angel protecting the children. But I couldn't read it. St. Michael. St. Michael. Yeah, it's on the corner right there. Okay. You. Were you done? No. Oh. <laughs> There's the angel side, and this is St. Michael. Oh, now I can read it. Italy. It's marked Italy. It's on a curved chain. The chain has no clasp, but it's big enough to fit over your head. I wonder if it's silver. Here's a little stretchy bracelet. Huh? I wonder if it's silver. Uh, yeah, it probably might be. Or a rope? You put them both in there. Okay. Oh, you want me to do that? Well, yeah, just a big quick way to find out. Looks silver to me. You see any copper coming through? Uh, you're a better judge than I. Not really. Nope. I would have to put acid on it, though. Okay. You want me to give it to you to put in a different pile? Here, yeah. I got, I got one. Okay. I'm with you. That's why I didn't want to put them together. Okay. I thought you handed it to me to put them together. No. Oh, I love this. Palm tree. It's got little rhinestones in it. Here's the back. It's beautiful snake chain. Here's your clasp. Everything is in excellent shape. There's any writing on that or not? No, I don't see anything. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yes. Very pretty though. Mm -hmm. Here's a little stretchy bracelet with silver parts to it. bracelets. Uh -huh. There's some more. Let me get them all together. Yeah, because these look like they all kind of go. Be worn together. Same types. So they got the bars. So we'll put those all three together. This one's a little different, but I'm still going to put it with the others. Got the it's celestial. Here's some little charms. Whoops. I'll put them in my charms over here. There. Oh, that's pretty. Mm hmm Oh, it's a bracelet. I'm looking at it like, well, how does that go? This is very pretty. Oh, I'm not moving well. Let me turn this around so they can kind of see what I'm messing around with. What you're struggling with? Yes. <laughs> but it's me. Beautiful little bracelet with circles and a gold tone. No wear on it.
Here's a necklace that's, I think, kind of rose tone gold. You've got your little, little rhinestone on the end down here. It says LC. I don't know if that's Lauren Conrad or Liz Taylor. But it's a very pretty necklace. And those are little crystals. And it's got this nice tassel on the end. They feel cold. Oh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. There's another little bracelet with blue and gold and coral colored pink beads. Lobster claw clasp with an extender. Here's a brass necklace. Very antiqued. I'm seeing if it has a clasp. I don't see one, do you? Mm -hmm. So it's an infinity necklace. And we have a hematite little dolphin pendant on this real thin cord. Nice and lightweight for summer. Thank you. And we have a cross, Shambhala bracelet. Oops. Very cute, very pretty. I like that. I don't know what this is. I, I guess you could run a scarf through it. I don't know. We'll put that in the... Um, Curiosity? Yes. And remember we had this, like these it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We had this color and this color and you could put pendants on these. They'd make pretty necklaces for pendants. Let's just go ahead and put them in a bag. This is a little broken necklace. It's missing a clasp yeah. on the end. Easily fixed. It's got hearts and keys. I'm gonna put that in the craft lot. So I'll show you the, here's a key. Little heart, with a key. And another heart. And I don't know, I think I showed these before. So we can, these need to be bagged because I don't want them messed up. Gotcha. And this one is not magnetic. But I think it may be a, oh, it's got a little pearl inset. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. And they're all there. Kind of see it better on the skin. It's nice. And then we had these, and you can tighten this by doing that. Pretty. And then we had this necklace for one half of it. The beads had come unstrung, and 
all the beads, I got them all out of the, the jar and everything. So the beads are all there. This needs to be restrung. Yeah, on half up. One this half is, is an oyster shell. That's yeah. all right. No, no, that's, no, that's fine. Yeah. Those are pretty beads, too. They were glass or porcelain. Yeah. Yeah, clear beads, white beads, and yeah. white and pink beads. And little brass separators. Yep. Whatever. So we'll put that in the craft lot. Sure. Sure. But all the beads are there. Okay. What do you do with him? What am I going to do with him? I don't know. It's a little bottle of wish dust. So I'm going to keep him over here in my drawer. I need a bigger bottle. <laughs> <laughs> bigger wish, huh? Okay, I think that's it. That's all for tonight. Yes. So, thank you guys for watching our videos and and um, commenting. We appreciate that. And new subscribers, you can hit that thumbs up bell to get notified for when these videos come on. Thank you if you just stopped by and popped in for a little bit or if you stayed the whole time. Uh, we enjoy doing opening jewelry jars and uh, seeing what prizes come out of them. And we want to share that joy with you. So, with that said, I guess everyone should have a blessed evening. And we'll see you in the next jewelry jar opening. So, good night. Good night, folks.